as the New York Post first reported to you guys a couple weeks back, Tyler Perry is out of the running to purchase BET from Paramount as of right now. It appears that Paramount wanted $3 billion to purchase BET, and you would have got VH1 and the rest of BET Plus with it. And apparently Tyler Perry had $2 billion ready to go, but was not willing to up the ante to $3 billion. I don't even like how we just throwing around that B word like it's a couple dollars. Like we're talking about billions here. And the fact that there was a 33% gap between Paramount and Tyler Perry, I don't think we're going to see BET sold anytime soon. That's a huge gap. And even 50 Cent, who was also in the running to purchase BET, 50's got a group alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenya Burris, uh, another successful producer in Hollywood. They had a package together, and, uh, and according to 50 Cent's Instagram, they weren't going up to $3 billion either. He even posted online, we will get them next time, Shaq. It wasn't worth $3 billion. Man, you look, 50 Cent's a very smart guy. And to me, I haven't seen somebody in the game holding it down over the last five years the way 50 Cent held it down with the Power Universe at its apex and obviously the BMF series and everything else 50 Cent's got going over there on Stars and now other networks. And I think 50 Cent's telling y'all the, the truth. Like, he's telling you this from his executive lens. Like, yo, that ain't worth no $3 billion. And and I think BT and Paramount, whoever over there should be listening to a guy who is as hot as anybody in Hollywood right now. And if 50 Shaq and Kenya want to come up with that revenue funds to purchase BT, if they really thought it was $3 billion, I think they would have. I'm being honest with y'all. Talking about Shaq, one of the most plugged in people in entertainment ever. Kenya Burris in Hollywood, 50 Cent in music. I definitely believe they could have came up with the capital to purchase BET if they thought it was about to be all that it did some. I don't know what BET's end goal is and what their goal was to kind of throw a little smut on Tyler Perry's name, but I don't like it. I thought Tyler Perry was going to be the new owner of BET by now. I did. I really did. You know, I don't know how 50 Cent running BET would have would have worked because most of his stuff is explicit. That's why we love his content. It needs to be on pay-per-view. I don't know how that one would have worked. But for what Tyler Perry is trying to do with BET, I think it would have worked. I really do. I think he would have been able to shoot most of the stuff over there. He would have put a lot of time in the award shows. I think it would have been dope. But Paramount saying they want another billion. Time loving support is what your boy would never take for granted. 50 Cent says he doesn't believe BET was worth $3 billion either as he and Shaq pull out of the negotiations. I'm out. What's up, everybody? It's yours truly. I'm the one and only. I'm your boy, Ferro. If you are enjoying the great quality content, make sure you put yourself in position to get more of your boy. For music news, updates, and commentary, make sure you're following and subscribe to me on Facebook and YouTube, and it's Mr. Teleferro. For basketball news, highlights, and commentary, make sure you're following and subscribe to me on Facebook and YouTube at Hoops Ferro. It's free 99 to you. It truly means the world to me. Let's run these numbers up. I appreciate the time, love, and support.